might be a loss of distinction between reality and fantasy and possibly the loss of life in the I'd like to propose a new game. Kind of an evolution of Maces and Monsters. <laughs> Maces and Monsters 2E? <laughs> The movie was trash the, until the second he got to New York, and then it's like, okay, this kind of slaps. Yeah, this is fucking phenomenal. I am Ronald, the rules lawyer, and I am here. We're going with some other YouTube luminaries. We're going to be watching and reacting to a Satanic Panic classic um, of the early 1980s, starring Tom Hanks, Mazes and Monsters, and we also have brought libations. So say whatever you like about yourself, and also what you're drinking today. I can't make the same joke as last time. It, it's Ooh, lost. I'm it's sorry. lost. Ron. For the people at home, <laughs> I, I did not forgot press to press record. record. Yes, <laughs> we've already recorded this entire show. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, uh, I'm I'm known at ones, also known as Brogan. You can find me on YouTube, oh. known at ones, or Twitter, known at ones. Potentially soon to be Instagram and TikTok, known at ones. Uh, Discord, known at ones. Uh, social security card, known at ones. Um, and uh, I make Pathfinder 2E content, some D&D content, some silly short skits and whatnot. Uh, I just like having fun on my channel overall. So uh, like and subscribe or you hate me. Uh, oh, and we have to point out that th today is the first time you and I have spoken. That's true. It is. <laughs> Me and Ron have existed in the same space, like, yeah. really, like talking about the same game for like, when did you start your channel, Ron? Uh, mid-2021. So we we so oh, Ronald yes, yeah, and I started our channels at the exact same time. <laughs> Was I talking to you? Um, <laughs> I'm getting big shotted by uh, by Brogan. Um, you know what they say about punching down? He's like he's like la di da. Come back to me when you have 10k, bitch. <laughs> um, anyways, so my name's Austin. Um, I make videos under the YouTube channel Tabletop Bro, um, where I make videos about tabletop games. Uh, including but not limited to Dungeon World. That's kind of my bread and butter. I started with Pathfinder, but then there were Dungeon too many World. rules. D-dubs. I'm all about D-dubs. We just launched a server for D-dubs, so you should totally check it out. And I'm drinking the lovely Bud Light. Um, again, it was on sale. Please don't judge me. It's very close to water. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm putting let's a link get, to let's your check server. Let's in Path. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Whoosh. Transition. Oh, Video geez. transition. I think between all the different countries in the Commonwealth, the king has like 80 birthdays a year, which so is he... how the queen got so old. I'm drinking Tanqueray gin. Um, it's a lot easier to drink than other things that I have at the moment off at the end of my three-day bender. Again, stereotypes. I'm not drinking it straight up, but <laughs> the Zero Sugar Schweppes tonic water. And your channel's on hiatus at the moment, right, Dominic? Yes, I my computer exploded. Um, it was very dangerous. A lot of people got hurt. Yeah, so I'm saving for a new computer and for some time while I finish up my study and work. People on my channel know me. Relatively late in life, I uh, got into tabletop, actually playing tabletop RPGs, uh, including teaching after school program. It's because they and... weren't invented until he was like already oh, a thousand. Shut up. Oh, you said the joke again. I did. It's so <laughs> funny. It's even better be, um, the second time. I'm the only one who was alive at the time that this movie was made. Okay, this movie, Mazes and Monsters, is actually mm -hmm. a, movie watching a movie. <laughs> yeah, a TV movie <laughs> adaptation um, of um, a book called Mazes and Monsters that was all part of the Satanic Panic. Um, some guy was um, who uh, ran away. Um, he was a college student at. at uh, in the Midwest, and he disappeared, and there's this whole sensational l looking for him. And the reason that everyone was saying was that he was got involved in some Dungeons and Dragons game that went wrong. Like he went into some <laughs> steam tunnels and got lost. Ooh. We've all been. And yeah. so I rarely get drunk. Yeah, I was, I was, so I was yeah. saying this, this might be the drunkest I get in months. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never been drunk either. Definitely don't look at my live streams. <laughs> honestly this weekend notwithstanding i'm generally a massive lightweight but i'm very keen to watch ronald uh try to roll himself into the recovery position bothered about dungeons and dragons b-a-d-d -D, bad oh patricia they're so pulling bad. who's bad uh patricia pulling 
um, said that Dungeons and Dragons was characterized by, quote, demonology, witchcraft, voodoo, murder, rape, blasphemy, suicide, assassination, insanity, sex perversion, homosexuality, prostitution, oh. satanic type rituals, gambling, barbarism, cannibalism, sadism, mm. desecration, demon summoning, well, necromantics, yeah. divination, and other teachings. Not divination. Not divination. <laughs> yes i mean the yeah, funny thing that, is that like aside from a few of these that's not that far off <laughs> the, the big thing <laughs> is it's, it's pretend i feel like we need to have small small drinking game rules this one from only two years ago they said they watched the movie and created a drinking game with three rules every time oh. somebody says or does something that makes it clear that nobody in this movie has ever played an rpg uh -huh. drink here for every it. Time, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, <laughs> every time somebody says or does something that makes it clear nobody on this movie ever went to college since the <laughs> 1950s. <laughs> every time Chris Makepeace wears a new hat. How about for, something that's dated that they say, like a dated like, saying? Ooh. Oh yeah, if they if they say like a like a phrase or a saying that we don't say anymore. I, I'm oh. sharing the TV ad. This is how oh, people, people in my generation uh, would get excited about new events on TV. We had this thing called TV Guide. <laughs> Look, oh, oh, you would see an that's advertisement. Cool. That is an oh, awesome. I like, I like her Pac-Man Pac Medusa hair. For those listening, it says. Rona Jaffe's Mazes and Monsters, four players in a dangerous game, risking their hearts, their minds, and their lives. Let's do it. Oh no, has someone died? Already? No trespassing. Right? They had such a low budget, they needed to keep lighting low so you couldn't actually okay, see what anything careful. happened. Or how low budget it was. Well, Genius. We a game of Mazes and Monsters. Got a little out of hand over at the university. Seconds, but Mazes and monsters. Right? <laughs> you know how to play oh. it. My kids played. I know yeah, the game. Wow. What kind of line is that? The apparent disappearance of a Grant University student, the victim of a seemingly innocent game, Mazes and Monsters. Now, Mazes and Monsters is a fantasy role-playing game in which the players create an imaginary character. These characters are then plunged into a fantasy world of okay, invented boomer. terrors. The point of the game is to amass a fortune without <laughs> to being killed. To amass a fortune without being killed. To be fair, AD&D, it fits. In their lives by uh, I'm them counting up. that. But in this case, oh, it yeah. might be a loss of distinction between reality and fantasy, and possibly <sighs> the loss of life in the counting process. Counting that. I'll be back in three minutes with another live report. Also, if you That's ever get something, if you ever hear something that constitutes, just say drink, and we'll yeah. follow along. Wait, why are we? Why does this sound like a, a adopt a pet commercial? <laughs> Did you know that there are dozens of hundreds of animals suffering? Wow, this is so depressing. Oh. Technical issue for Dominic. Oh damn! Yeah. My camera has just well, died, but I have a bad uh, Mazes and Monsters music. versus Fire <laughs> What's better for your group? We can have a video content where we try to make rules for the game that they're playing on the screen. <laughs> I bet it's been done. Is that oh, a that's Russian okay. pickle hop? Yeah, was Don, that like a, drink. like a German oh. soldier helmet? It, 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 wait, 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 around. can we talk about that line Darling. where, Mom, I'm home. You where know. are you? <laughs> like the front door. Where do you, you think? Whose house is that? <laughs> well, it's it's his house, clearly. Whoa. Okay, he, that looks what? like a bathroom. <laughs> I thought it looked like a hospital. I can tell you don't like it. I wonder why. I don't like it. I hate it. JJ. <laughs> Do you know how many of my clients would give their eye teeth for a Julia Brockway room like this? Your clients put their eye teeth in a glass of water every night. You are Damn. <laughs> that was like their version of OK Boomer. Was it the bird speaking? Anything to hurt you. I, I think the bird was speaking yeah. and then he called the bird a coward. <laughs> well, so I guess I'll get college okay. was fine. Oh, well, I'll probably get straight A's again this term. Thanks, mother. You're welcome. I'm glad you're glad. <laughs> you okay, bud? <laughs> this dog oh, looks so bad. Poor JJ. She is your father's wife now. No, you are my father's wife. 
Oh, baby. It's this was the first leading time. role for Tom. Sorry, I do this thing where I look up movie trivia while I'm watching the movie. This mm -hmm. was the first leading role for Tom Hanks. Ever? Yes. Yeah. Tom. It's kind of inspirational when you think about it. Want. Oh, shit. Drink, way, drink. Oh, what, what did we that? miss? Block, but I she placed way too much emphasis on her getting married. That seems old and antiquated. She also is like, what, 17? You have a special gift for computers. You've always oh had my that. God. What I really love is to make up games for computers. <gasps> There's nothing wrong with that. You can do it as a hobby. Dang, <laughs> that would I never mean, be this, a is, this is still relevant. Oh, yeah. you had, you had. Oh, so that's Tom yeah. Hanks. Oh, yeah. that's Tom yes. Hanks. Twenty-six-year-old Tom Hanks. So he comes from a troubled family, so he needs D and D to escape or M and M. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Chocolate. I saw. I saw all my friends' parents do it, but never mind. I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Tom. If I weren't to cross the world. <laughs> These are all troubled, you know. If you raise your kids wrong, they're gonna play this demonic game and they'll die. Well, no, it, it has nothing to do. The, the parenting is totally fine. That is not the issue here. The issue is this, these oh, goddamn hey, satanic game. Oh. What is what is he wearing? <laughs> that appears to be a World War One. Yeah. Is this gonna be like gay cruising? They're gonna like look at each other and see that they're a D and D player. Maybe a monster enthusiast who can play at the ninth level and promises neither to. Flake out or flunk out or fink out? out. Fink fink out? out. What is fink? What jar fink jar means. broccoli. Starting at ninth level? Come on, that's just not no. a good experience. No one wants to start well, okay, at ninth okay. level. <laughs> to be fair, all right. To be fair, I'm going to be a massive apologist throughout this entire thing. All right, we need back one. in the day, you had one character that if they survived, you used them at different tables for different dungeons, right? Sure. So if they're like this is for about ninth level. If you can survive a ninth level dungeon, this is this is what I'm running, right? That makes sense. I mean, so, that makes sense. If this is Adventures League, but Adventures League is trash, so you know. Well, no, no. Back in the day, sort of every table was Adventures League. How which do we're you doing know that, that someone in didn't our just dungeon make it up? Server. Though. No, they definitely well, made that up. Yeah, that's why we don't do it that way anymore. Why is there a religious studies student union? Do you, do you think the directors put that poster there on yes, purpose? One hundred percent. It's it's the, the the angel and devil on the on the shoulder sort of thing. <laughs> at what know. point like, does a kangaroo wife a become a Joey? Machine. That's not how you introduce uh, yourself to people. Robert, nice car. Yeah. You know, I had a red convertible once for five minutes. The boy Wonder gave it to me for my birthday. Neglected to notice I was too young to have my driver's license. So I sold it and bought my minor bird and a motorbike. What? Can, can well, we drink uh, if it's clear that, boy. that whoever wrote this script oh, has never right. had a real-life conversation before? <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to show up around 8, uh, second floor... Robbie! Oh. Why is he wearing a oh. heart? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, 1987, great year. Kate, it's night. This came out in 1982. Wait! Wait. What? Oh, nothing. Sorry. It's just, you're very beautiful. God! Uh, why is that the way it is in every early 80s, 90s should, movie? Uh, okay, should we it's drink like, if it's clear uh, that they've never hey, spoken to bitch, a woman hi. before? I played a game called Mazes and Monsters a little too much. You're kidding. What level? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's real. That's so real. <laughs> Oh. If, if I was talking to someone I thought was like a normal person, yeah, and then yeah, they slipped in like, yeah, I have my D&D &D campaign tomorrow, I'd be like, no way, what level? What level? <laughs> uh, nice. Nice level. Nice level. Oh. So am I. Oh. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful to be finally creating your own scenario? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, your own fantasy. Okay, too. they I'm clearly have never played before. That's yeah. that's a drink. I've been looking desperately yep. for a fourth player. This is wonderful. Just Daniel, Daniel, uh, I want you to meet Daniel. Daniel, meet uh, Robbie. Well. He's level nine. <laughs> <laughs> He's level nine. <laughs> that's an introduction. <laughs> a couple times a week. <laughs> No, I really have the crack of books. Really? No, seriously. I mean, it's not the same level. I can't. It's a mess. No, please just try one campaign with us. Just, just, just really one line. Just, oh, right. Don't like it, it the, this is what, like, I imagine parents in the 80s thought that, like, crack dealers were trying to do to their yeah, kids. Right. <laughs> give it a shot. All right. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, my God. I am the maze controller. The maze controller. The god of this universe. The maze controller. The absolute authority. 
Only I know the perilous course which you were about to take. Oh, look at that exposition. Yes, they're all ninth level, but he has to explain how, how uh, everything right? works. <gasps> is that not how the your sessions all start? Dies. Is, hello, I am the dungeon master. I control the world around you, and you are the player. I am part of you, a holy man. In reaching the ninth level, I have acquired many magic Wait, so they have two clerics? Charms, the greatest of which yeah, this is just is bad party comps. Shall ye enter? Aye. Uh, Aye. Let the journey begin. I mean, okay. Good session zero. Make right, sure that's that a little bit of adventure. I mean, too many candles for my taste. That was, but, like, you know. decently accurate, though, like the first ten minutes of a campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, like, if they don't know each other, they'll introduce their characters. Sure, yeah. Yeah, Which, you this know, is a, a new type player. of campaign. If you're playing a ranger, this is what we're kind of going up against. I, I, I rate it. Right. That, that, that could have been so much worse than it was. But there was a lot of candles and a lot well, of weird, you know. Yeah, they were definitely leaning into the culty side chanting. a little too much. Uh, Nonad and I were talking about how we're having fun. We are having a blast. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a jovial time. Oh wait, and and the the romantic music playing. Oh look at those shorts. It's like I'm a sure he's, running, running. he's running. When the uh, storm wait. clouds gather to something yeah. something. It's probably like like a prophecy or something. Just jotting that down so they have access to it. Yeah, they're just notes and maps and stuff. I will be honest. Like the movie is terrible. I'm impressed so far. I'm sure that will stop. <laughs> But I was prepared for so much worse. I mean, the story hasn't even started yet. Oh, yeah, yeah Mason and Monsters really, you know, helps you find um, dates. You hit on the other players in your D&D games. It's really good. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing will ever go I bad from that happening. This is I woke me up and said that he needed all of my money so he could go to New York. Who did? I gave it to him and he told me that he would keep in touch, but he never did. Dude, that's such a major forced gun forced delivery. Gun yeah. Yeah, yeah it's big time. Money. It's, it's funny, I dream about him a lot. Now, say what you want about the movie. Tom Hanks is still Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, like, just awesome. That was good. Comedy. That was good. Cool. Those were. Uh, you know that no Grant University student has ever committed suicide? Oh, he's gonna kill himself. What? Could I do? what? Yeah. Dude, yeah. come on. Like, that is, that is, uh, remember J. whatchamacallit's J. gun. And that's shadow. how you want to be remembered? <laughs> Who thinks this way? I know. The caverns. The mysterious forbidden Pequod caverns. Boy <laughs> genius suicides in caverns. They talk about it. What forever. the fuck? Drink for the makers of this movie having never learned anything about mental health. Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, it was the '80s. Mental health didn't exist. Come on, yes. Right. Their relationship right. is breaking up. The group. Oh, a double bed. Ooh. Now we can. Uh, we can live together now. <gasps> that was the creepiest thing I've like... ever heard. I'm not ready yet. It's Could you imagine springing on your girlfriend of like a month? <laughs> Surprise! You're moving in with me. Okay. <laughs> no, JJ, don't do it. <laughs> Stop climbing through the set of fake cavern walls. Do you think suicide is burning yourself to death? Nope, that's a torch. I mean, oh, that's that a is torch? a torch. Oh, so Where is he doing okay. earlier? Was he walking in the dark? Where do you get that? I would love that torch. <laughs> Freelick jumps into the pit to gather the treasure. How much does Freelick to get? To gather the treasure. It's a trap. <gasps> no. The pit is filled with sharp gem encrusted <gasps> spikes. Gem encrusted? Freelick, the frenetic of Glossomere, is impaled <gasps> and dies. Are you <laughs> He's just dead. dead. Well, you I, don't I take damage. You're just dead. Nope. Just dead. 86. That's AD&D, uh, baby. That was Save or die. Jumping into the pit without using your sonar. Your first. sonar! <laughs> drink, <laughs> drink, drink. drink. <laughs> I'd like to propose a new game. Uh oh. Kind of an evolution of Maces and Monsters. <gasps> Maces and Monsters 2E. In all modesty, it's the most intriguing concept of the game that I've ever heard. I want to give him a fucking swirly after no saying that. <laughs> so he's talking you about never... LARPing, right? Yeah, he's LARPing. just yeah, yeah, LARPing. He's just, he's just. You guys want to come lopping with me? Isn't that fucked yeah. up? Okay, but can you tell me, would you would you ever play in a session where your friend goes, naturally, I'll be the DM? 
Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if it's LARPing, and would, especially if you have, like, situations where you, like, can insta-die. But apparently, yeah, like, good. even while you are actually, if you are sleeping, your character is sleeping. And yeah. people can sneak in and take your stuff. Dude, the, that's, that's kind of fucked up. Just has to steal the tag, mm. and then they officially own it and you need you know, like you you can keep it on you you know you can keep your your prop sword on you but you are not allowed to use it because you don't have it anymore so what i'm hearing is that larping actually invented nfts <laughs> i'm just gonna say <laughs> what is my cool chicken uh it is a popular trend on tiktok yeah it, it puts yeah. you to sleep but like and like honestly the cooking probably cooks out most of the alcohol but no it was on tiktok because cooking in a nyquil makes the chicken green so it got popular. <laughs> oh, so but it's not even like a drug thing. It's not even like this will get you no, high. No, no. But the problem <laughs> is, you know, there's these like... <laughs> Welcome. I fucking type NyQuil into Google and it auto-filled chicken. This Sonic chicken curry looks kind of dank. It really will be mazes and monsters. For real. For real. <laughs> I like the pan flute. I got expelled. We'll, we'll get expelled. Absolutely. Keep it absolutely It'll secret. Expel- Dwells the wicked Ak Oga, the most fiendish monster of them all. His awesome wickedness is matched only is, by the great. Does this count awesome as they've never played a TTRPG before? No, no, that's pretty believable. I, I, I can't believe it. I, Wait, I'm never. I don't know how to judge a LARP. Yeah, I don't know. Right? How to judge LARPs are all the top. Everyone just buys into it. What I believe is happening no, I, is he's planning this thing as a as a, a roundabout way to kill himself in front of his friends. Oh, so you he's think so? In- like, he's the final boss and he makes them kill him? Like, I'm into the cosplay, don't get me wrong. Your maze controller is with you, unseen to your eyes. What? Now, let the journey begin. That's kind of poggers. So did JJ set up, like, all these, like, wall candles and stuff ahead of time? Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, are you not this committed is... to running your games, bro? <laughs> He's a boy genius. <laughs> Perhaps he was on a mission such as ours. Be careful, could be a trick. Oh, No, no, leave the rice there so we don't get lost. Why don't we split up and each of us? Oh, this is totally is no, 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 no. Oh my god. He's no. rolling dice. Monster! 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 Oh, oh okay, shit. that's actually cool. That's legit. Wait, actually, is he gonna kill Tom Hanks in character? Dude, that'd be kinda sick. Or except, can do nothing. Wait, wow. AD and D clerics can't hold daggers. They can't use bladed weapons. God, fake movie. Uh, Take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> clerics cannot use daggers. Fuck. They can use uh, clubs. This is mazes stabs, and monsters, not maces. AD and D. I am the great. Oh old. shit. Once you. Why are you talking into pe- not PVC, but like a sewer pipe? Level. Do you not talk to sewer pipes in your dreams? I really don't. Oh, Jesus. Must. James Bond has a lot to answer for. Humble. <laughs> Celibate. Celibate? Celibate? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my um, god. You just pushed him down. down. Walker Glacier, the fighter. The holy man must walk alone. No, wait, please. What? Great Hall, I need you. When you are worthy. Then you will come to the two towers. You, wait, I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> the Great Hall. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> the rings, it's good. Oh, please! Wow! I know I he has to be celibate, you guys. Remember. I miss headbands. I love you, and I will always love you, but I just can't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Wow, I am <laughs> quitting D&D. If you met somebody else or you don't want to go Imagine. out with me anymore, then that's fine. But just I don't love lie to you, me. I really love you. I just can't. You love me, but you touch, can't touch you anymore. Me. That sounded straight out of an audiobook. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like last time. This is deja vu. It's deja just vu? like last time. Last time. Is, it, is it me, Robbie? Oh yeah, she's the one who's obsessed cars. with getting hitched. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, no, you're no, just no, hideous, no, and nobody will ever you. love you. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Why are you so impatient? Because I love you, and I want you to forgive me. 
remember all, all right, Tom, that, that, was, that was a little cardboard. See, that's how you know they didn't play d d in the 80s. They just said he doesn't need him to draw his own map. So... <laughs> oh, swag, swag. Oh, I'm making a drink, hold on. God, look how low the freaking <laughs> the lighting. This is so underexposed that I can't see what's going it on. It is dark for me. I mean, it was the 80s. They they were recording with, like, rocks and dirt. So. Oh my god, the screen is all black now. All 800. Look at your elementary no. scopes one time. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> you're Adobe, you're color correcting this as we watch. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could turn my light off because I'm sure it'll be easier to see if I turn my my ring light off. <laughs> Wait, what was the point of this yep, entire scene other now. than padding? It's what called he just called back. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Just call no, his no, cell phone. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the most no useless scene. Yeah. This is a Naruto filler arc. I was trying to figure out where JJ hid the treasure. <laughs> what? <laughs> you wanted to win that badly? Yes. He wanted to find the treasure. Does that count? That uh, counts. I'm drinking. Yeah, we're gonna do the dark together alone, you guys. That means you have to kiss. Don't forget, the goal of these games is to gain as much treasure as possible until your character dies. I mean, to be fair, that was kind of the goal of OSR games. I mean, yeah. I mean, True. you know, the, 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 there, there are certain OSR games where you get XP for how much gold you successfully bring back to town. <laughs> I told you, I, told, I don't no. remember this. Me, but I knew no Strandus. <laughs> am I there right? Was a, there was no color correction, so that meant they had to kiss. I was always like Mr. Spock. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No this, oh my. Whatever you would ever. I feel like Spock from Star Trek. Is that what he said? <laughs> mazes and monsters made me love you. This, this looks nothing. like mazes and monsters is absolutely the way to hook up, right? <laughs> Just play M&M and eventually so you'll be I'm making I'm going to go to my next <laughs> Adventures League session and just, it, like, yeah. Hey, it takes at least two sessions oh, to get together. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Also, one of you has to have recently broken. <laughs> is this what American College is like? No. <laughs> oh, no, he's still the cleric. Tom. Oh. Oh no. Hell yeah. That's a great costume. A no, it is a great costume, but we all know, oh, dude, Robbie's about to lose his shit. He's, he's gonna kill he's this gonna man. But, but the, there's a massive, like, like, old school Australian movement that's like, we don't do Halloween here. That's Americans. We don't do that. And then we all the people that know how to have fun are like, yeah, we're just gonna dress up and- <laughs> That's Tolkien. That's Tolkien. What's the Great Hall? You know, maybe he was hitchhiking. Why are we whispering in a dorm room? Dude, this is so 1982. It, make it hurts sense. my soul. God hurt or something. God hurt or something. <laughs> so wait, that's JJ in the sweater, the white sweater? Yeah, he's not wearing stupid hats anymore because <laughs> Robbie stole the title of being the fucking weirdo in the group. Robbie! Yeah, bub. It's a lot of yelling for each other in this movie. That's not like half the movie. It's, the it's because <laughs> they were too busy yelling each other's names. They should have been yelling for Christ. Playing mazes and monsters <gasps> in there. Yeah, I heard that too. What a fucking narc, dude. Fuck this guy. JJ sucks ass. Oh, that's kind of far that's out. Kind that's of kind of far, far out. out. Far <laughs> does, does that count? I'm <laughs> counting that for something. That counts. Far out, Also, mate. we can still agree. This is an iconic line you just talked over. One of the players Robbie played with Got carried away and killed. <gasps> That's kind of far. <laughs> man, it's kind of fucking far out, man. <laughs> so it's battles, maiming, killing. Hey, it's all imagination. Is it? Is it? Dude, is that, is... <laughs> is that is. I'll be talking. Is it? That is. That is on the good. level of. I did not hit her. I did I not. Did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Dude, these guys are such Friday. fucking losers. Not because they play mazes and whatever, but because they are narcs. Why does he have a bowl? Because they play apples. mazes and monsters and not Pathfinder. Why does he have three yeah. apples and a bowl? They need to play Pathfinder. Oh, this is the intro. Hey -oh. <gasps> We've come full circle. Is that if he's in those caverns, they have no <laughs> idea where he is. That's iconic, dude. <laughs> if he's oh, in those change, caverns, change, hat. Hat change, Fuck yeah, dude. new hat. But if it's not a map of the caverns, what is it a map of? That's it. What? The Great Hall. It's not a place, it's a person. 
Robbie's brother's name was Hall. The one that his, ran away. His Did brother's name this? was Hall? Oh, 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 what oh, the Robbie shit? Told me years ago, his brother ran away. Wait, what else did he say? Oh, he said that uh, he he was dreaming about him a lot. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in the big city. Look <laughs> how they're making it so easy with their jazz that saxophone. Yeah, that's that sinful jazz me. music. <laughs> sinful Wait, jazz. who's that walking next to him, wearing the exact same outfit? <laughs> he looks like he's in a dare video about to buy crack. Where would a holy man go? On a quest. <laughs> Does quest. that count? Find that counts. Ball. Is he gonna pull out? Oh, he's, he, he's about to cast like. Fucking actual magic. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he's gonna kill this dude. He's straight up gonna oh murder God. this man. Yes. Dude, he, he is about to kill this man right and fucking now. Touch Pathfinder 2E is. You know what? All right. Arcane, occult, and divine. You're right. Tom Hanks just killed very the man. Unrealistic. Question. Wait, no, just, it's just okay, so if you're robbing somebody a... and they have pull out a knife, you oh, know, yeah, you run the fuck you away. You move on. Yeah. yeah, you don't steal from someone who fights back. See, this all sounds like American conversations. I live in Australia where it's safe. <laughs> you guys have been referring to. Forest I mean, it's, it's his most iconic. Tom role. Hanks to you guys. It's most his most iconic. iconic. No, I've seen. I've seen other Tom Hanks movies. I know he. There's blood on my knife. <laughs> It kind of it's sounds like Woody. I think I There's a snake in my boot. No, there's a snake in my mouth. You know, if it weren't, if it weren't for his Tom gonna, Hanks voice, kick him this would the... be an excellent acting job. <laughs> they're gonna kick him out of the group now, right? Because he used an, a bladed weapon, which you can't do yeah. as a cleric. He's honestly not doing a bad acting job. I don't know, this last scene no. of him, like... He's doing was, fine, it's just the script. Yeah. yeah, it's very much the script. He's doing the what best. Doing this is classic for, uh, Hayden Christensen prequel show. I wonder if he agreed to this movie because he agreed with the morals, or he just needed the money. <laughs> Probably just needed the money, let's be real. I don't know, it was the 80s. Hating on D&D was, like, the hip thing. Yeah, but he's also 26. He didn't, like, if you look at his discography, like, he didn't book, like, a proper movie until he was, like, 30. So oh, no, we have, um, chaotic jazz music done. Yeah, that sax player is giving it his all. Yeah, <laughs> have you ever seen? <laughs> what if the monsters were the humans the entire- Oh, shit. Is he gonna is kill a crackhead? homeless person? Can you tell me of the giant dragon? <laughs> On my travels here, I heard him. Dragon, you say? Does he stand guard over the treasure? Stay away from up there. This homeless guy is the oh, best yeah. actor in the entire movie. Hundred <laughs> percent. This this entire scene is way fucking Perhaps better than it deserves to be. And Dom went to film school, so that's how you know. Yeah. You say when is going. Yeah. Honestly, this whole, like, arc of the movie is vastly superior to the rest of the movie. I, it feels like a different movie from college. I'm, like, yeah. genuinely this kind of enjoying awesome. this. Yeah, this is <laughs> it, it, fucking phenomenal. It's unironically not a bad movie. It's just got a stupid message. Like, the movie was trash the, until the second he got to New York, and then it's like, okay, this kind of slaps. Right? Like, what yeah, is he going okay, to tell me come? what you're talking oh, about, because I'm just like, friend. I'm still into this is whole, sorry, this is all a really weird take on D&D. &D. Well, yeah. See, to me, it, this is not like... anti-D&D. &D. This is almost anti-mental health. Like, Tom, <laughs> I almost yeah, said Tom yeah. Cruise. Tom Hanks <laughs> is just suffering from a now near permanent delusion where he mm -hmm. cannot separate fantasy from reality. It's a super rough version, but it's almost like a mashup of They Live, and there are aspects of Birdman in there. And Birdman is my favorite movie of all time. But I don't know kind of what it's... either of those are. So, all right, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put in the caption film student. Oh, you can, right? <laughs> But it's a, it's the same thing as Birdman, where this man is having some kind of like schizophrenic break. It's a fantastic representation of this dude that is like not on our plane of existence at mm. at all. It's just that it's deeply rooted in this like Christian propaganda of like mm -hmm. of like it's because D and D is from Satan. 
But other than that, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> that was a textbook analysis. That was good shit. All right. I already know what the thumbnail is. d d YouTubers praise mazes and monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I have some IRL friends who, obviously not to this extreme, this is an exaggeration, but people who their tabletop role-playing sessions are their life. They spend yeah. six days a week looking forward to the next chance they get to role play and escape. It can be an okay thing. Here, yeah, people my... aren't stabbing. Sorry, sorry, go ahead, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. My, no, my no, please, spicy take of, of the day is that he's kind of like, hold up, let me just... Oh shit, bro! That was dang. <laughs> my my, my oh. spicy take is that he's like those uh, people who are like, um, I roll to roll for perception. Oh wow, it looks like this is a great movie, and it's like like taking it too far. Is May I give my movie. spicy take that will cancel me on the internet? Fuck yeah, he <laughs> is a critical role stan. Yeah, I yep, 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 fucking yep, 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 yep. agree, dude. <gasps> <laughs> he is like, oh, Jester is me. Yep. Everything <laughs> Jester does is me, and I emulate them. Is This is beyond dice. This is beyond rolling. In my analogy, they have become the character. They are no longer their own person. They are no longer in this world. The delusion has overtaken them to a point I of think mental be- instability. I think this could be a fucking fantastic movie, right? Like, I think so. It, it could, because it, it, it's that style of movie where it's about this obsession that takes over someone. Like someone's mm-hmm. like the aviator, right? Like Howard Hughes mm-hmm. obsessed with like like making the perfect flying machine and like capturing it. But it's just if, – if it just wasn't – about how bad D D was. If this was rewritten yeah. today by a director and writer who have played and experienced yep. D, it would be mm-hmm. incredible. Yep. I want I, I want to see the Jordan Peel. I yes. want to see the Jordan, Jordan Peel. Dude, Jordan Peel, Peel if, I, I'm sure Jordan Peel's played D before in his life. He's ha- he has to. Absolutely. If he has, has he would fucking crush this. He would this would be incredible. There would be plot twists. Like he, uh, the, I guarantee <laughs> he would be able to do it in such a way that the character would stop asso- would start disassociating reality and fantasy, but you as the viewer wouldn't realize it until it's too mm-hmm. late. Hmm. And it's that it's those dangers of like escapism. It's not it's not like this is something that is like so alien to us. It's it's something that like can absolutely still be told and it's relevant to our society. Now, if not, if not more than ever, you know, hundred percent. Like, it's, it, oh my god, especially yeah. what we were talking about before with like twelve year olds trying to go viral on TikTok. Oh, it's, absolutely, because it's all yeah. escapism. Because we're all like, we're never going to be able to retire, <laughs> and mm-hmm. that, and like, we no longer care about our own personal view of ourselves. Our entire self worth <laughs> yeah. is built upon that of the masses' view of us. Who would have thought that a fucking react video to a shitty 80s like satanic panic movie <laughs> would lead to such like in-depth great discussion? I am loving this. Based on I'm, alcohol, I'm here for it. I showed Dominic that I'm on six beers. Damn, yeah, same here. This, this is my sixth beer as well. I'm on two yeah, I'm mimosas saying. of this size and two margaritas of this size. I was, I was at about here. What's, what is happening? Oh, where's my Wait. brain? The two towers are the oh, twin towers. Oh no! Of the world this ages beautifully. Pardu is going to join his brother. The Great Hall is probably dead. Did this movie? Hey, no, this, this, oh, this was this is, nineteen this is not, years before September. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Children, this is not what D and D or Pathfinder makes you do. Wait, it doesn't. I'm sure this convinced a lot of mothers to yell well, at yeah. their children. The towers. <laughs> Oh, why did you just kill the painting? Why are they going down? Oh my god, what kind of asshole they pushes have... their way forward on an escalator? <laughs> that anymore? scene in the sewer, right, was fucking this awesome. Is, was, it was what have brilliant. we learned since? Guys, fucking, dude, I want to go to Gen Con next year so fucking badly, bro. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to dress up as him for Gen Con. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just cosplay this group? Okay, that was some nice, like, footstep ASMR, I won't lie. That was some <laughs> nice... <laughs> Okay, terrible, what is this movie terrible become? soundtrack choice here. Right? Oh, Remember when the movie was about D&D? Right? 
What are you doing? Oh, Sorry, guys. Going to join the Great Hall. <laughs> you can't. It's a trap. Uh, it's dude, a trap. okay. Fuck. I have spells. <laughs> I'm going to fly. Oof. You don't have enough points. I am the maze I controller. have spells. I am the maze controller. Dude, the problem is this could have been so good. Maze controller. Yes. It's so good. And I have absolute authority in this game. Wait, is that JJ? Is JJ still alive? Yeah. Yeah. JJ never killed okay. himself. Shame. Good on you, Yeah, JJ. that plot point never went anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. Well, I think that was the idea behind him, behind him ending their normal game and them to starting LARP. to LARP. Yeah. Yeah, it was he wanted to kill himself. Look at that. Oh, Tom. JJ, what am I doing here? Tom. <laughs> oh, Tommy. Tom, no. <laughs> Why can't I remember? That feels... This movie walked to Forrest Gump could run. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, we lost Dominic. It yeah, they had been. a decent it should have been. setup. They had a decent middle part, and then God. Like, again, it should have been 15. Three, three months, months later? later. You don't know how good it feels to be finally writing my novel. Oh, what God. What's it about? Is she was ever writing a novel? I didn't even know this was a plot point. I'll tell you, JJ, the theater arts department is in for a real shock with you and the director. Oh, he's the director now. <laughs> Dude, this sucks. Well, I'm a quiet type. I'm going to be perfectly happy as future captain of industry. Oh, man, look at this exposition. Oh, wow. He Thanks ended up doing us. what his parents wanted him to do Robbie all along. Because the game was the problem right. all along. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, that's the weird Maybe part, is all of this being a satanic panic movie, none of it is inherently the game's fault. Yeah, it, yeah, it didn't fuck them up. Right? Yeah. Like, it was clearly just a personal issue. But he was fragile at the time. Well, the game was an outlet for him, I guess. Anyway, I, I, I just want you to know it had nothing to do with any of you. So like, even the movie doesn't blame the game? Oh, well, come on. Right? right. Ron, you've clickbaited us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> plot twist. This movie was There's pro a lot of people D &D. that would watch this and blame the game, though. We all know that. It's like treated like, you know, it's like a phase for them to yeah. move past. You look terrific. Did you die when you leaped into oh, the pit? Oh, no. Stop oh, Tommy. And so we played the game what? again what? for one last time. Hard you saw the monsters. We did not. Yeah, this. We saw nothing but the death of hope <laughs> and the loss of our friend. The death of hope? And so we played the game until the sun began Once to again, set. this doesn't seem critical the of the game at dead. all. It's not. It's a man with mental health issues. I think I think what they did was they, they sold to it to the studio as that, because that would have gotten a green lit. That's it? Green lit? What? But... That's the end. It's not anti D and D at all. Not in the slightest. If it anything, is it is bit. anti it, mental I, I health. I think it definitely is a little bit. But that's yeah, the thing. But, is, but those who want to demonize the game will say it well, causes of course. The psychosis. Yeah. yeah Dom, you were trying and, to say and it's like, oh, I don't. You're weak of will. I don't trust you to play this imagination game. Read the Bible mm -hmm. instead. Uh, any final thoughts? You've already given a lot of final thoughts throughout. The movie is actually not that bad, and the saddest part of the whole thing is that it had actual promise to be a nice statement on mental health 100%. way ahead of its time. And 100%. It did. Yeah. That it could have been such a good movie, but they were just so addicted to the satanic panic that it was shit. But like Watch there out. were there were there were elements of something really good there. Watch out for the tabletop bro Dumble builds collab re edit coming out twenty twenty six. This is a rough draft for like Dom said like Birdman or like another movie. Like I think this definitely laid the groundwork for a lot of shit to be very successful. But this had to be very bad. And in fact, those successful movies probably never even knew this existed. But yeah, it's in the zeitgeist. You know, it's in the it's zeitgeist. subconscious. Yes, it's broken into sleep. It's one thirty a.m. Um, <laughs> and I need to pee. Any anything else anyone wants to say? Uh, it was a pleasure <laughs> meeting all of you for the first time. Is this all of our first time meeting broken? Face to face, I believe so. Yeah, put my vote in for it. Like, I had a lot of fun, and I wouldn't again. mind doing it again. Let's do Let's it again. Do, Let's 100%. do it again sometime.
Yeah, absolutely. Like, if you're going to subscribe to anyone, I probably wouldn't do Tabletop Pro because it's 100%. not that fantastic, but it's everyone not. else is quite fine. Dude, my content's <laughs> fucking garbage. I endorse everyone here. Dude, fucking in the end to the Naruto Sasuke fight at the end of Naruto. <laughs> Oh, Ron, just cut it.